starting the day off, we've got Shirley's Woods. This is land owned by the Sandwich Conservation Trust. And it's a nice little hike. It's nice that it exists. Um, so this will be the first I thought this part was really cool. I like, it feels like a clearing or a sculpted sort of piece of, of nature here. Almost a little spooky. Spooky season's over though, so. I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful. Absolutely love it. See the sun poking through. I mean, really old growth forest here. I mean, technically I don't think it's like ancient, but a uh, lot of variety of trees here. Beautiful little bench, little bench if you want to chill. I think it's been about two years since I did this hike last and it's in great shape. They're clearly doing great work on the trail maintenance. Um, I'm gonna look for some interesting trees to show you. Ooh, we're gonna go this way. So the trail is really just a bunch of uh, loops. It's only about 1.2 acres total. Yeah, get a look at that. Pretty sweet. Um, also probably kind of dangerous. It'll come down at some time. Um, yeah, what I love is the, are these clearings that they've really done a good job of maintaining. Establishing and then maintaining. I would say this is a very easy trail. More of a nature hangout spot. Another bench. But pretty sweet. This is trail number one. And from here, we will get back on it. We're here at the Wing Fort House. Not sure if you can read that. Wicked old. It's one of the cooler buildings I've seen on the Cape. Uh, recently repainted to be a more accurate color. This is a like dark red or just real true red. Um, it's made by natural pigments that is authentic to the time and location of what they would have painted it back in 1619. Um, truly amazing. I mean, what a cool house. Epic. This is classic New England, real like old development that has just stood the test of time, really. And through the work of preservationists, kept it alive. There's a wonderful sign here. Uh, get another look here. Um, I spoke with the caretaker. Apparently, the interior has been remodeled as well uh, to be more authentic and just improved. And eager to maybe this summer come back and take a look inside. So, stop number two, Wing Fort House. Uh, you can see beyond this the marsh. Alright, here at our third stop on this five stop trek, we are going to go to the Quaker Meeting House in East Sandwich. Just beautiful, surrounded by, uh, looks like a lot of birch, a bunch of others, <laughs> don't know. Um, so it's this big house that you can see behind here. Uh, truly, truly stunning. 1800s, I think it was like 1820 or 1860 or something. Um, used by the Quaker folks and 
uh, really just a, a beautiful remnant of history here in East Sandwich. All right, so we made it over here to Friends Meeting House. Quaker Meeting House, Friends. I don't know if they call it Friends Meetings. Really cool. Take a look here. I wanna say they recently did some renovations and preservation work here. Really cool. Imagine having that as a house. Would be incredible. All right, on to the next spot. Making it into stop number four here. Heading to Joe's Woods. Josito. Joe's Woods. Located in East Sandwich off of Roos Road. And we're technically on Roos Road right now. Super cool history here. So we're back here, another Sandwich Conservation Trust uh, protected area slash trail. We're going here to Joe's Woods. And this trail is awesome. It's, take a look here. I don't know if you can see that. But effectively we're here. And we're going to come all the way through and up over to Foster which is this road. So we're actually gonna come here, loop over to here, and then we'll hit up the beach and we'll go out that way. Really beautiful, very, I find, old forest. Let's try not to fall over. All right, so start of Joe's trail here. And just wicked old trees. They're beautiful. Grateful that someone maintains this, uh, the whole conservation trust does a great job preserving these lands. Um, fun facts, we'll get to it at some point here on the trail, but there is former cranberry bogs, if you can believe it. Ocean Spray, you know that brand. Uh, very similar sort of uh, location of that, that process to create cranberries and cranberry juice to potted and yeah it's just really cool so we'll go by an old cranberry bog we'll go by former pump house that it was like a way to move the water the system to move the water there um, very crunchy on this trail right now wonderful so there's actually an offshoot here called jake's trail wonder if we should do it should we should we i don't know it's so nice right here these beautiful trees thank you we're not going to do jake's trail today maybe in a couple weeks haven't been back here since last winter or two winters ago and it was uh, just like the movie Chronicles of Narnia like Narnia with all the the snow falling this beautiful uh, you know I mean look at this this these occur more often than you'd think trees that fell during winter and uh, windstorms always found them to be like really spooky like it's this little thing you got to cut through um at some point they'll probably take that down i don't know when that fell but very cool joe's trail back on it here with all these red blazes Ah, Jake's trail leads around. 
We'll take that next time. Little map check in here. We are here. Um, we were just here. Now we're here. It's probably been eight minutes of hiking. It's a very short trail. Um, I believe that's all marshland is what that's signifying there. Trail Junction and we're gonna get over to here. But we'll see if we can find anything cool on the way. Yes, this guy, Thomas Gels, Gelsthorpe, Gelsthorpe donated this land. Uh, thank you, Thomas, for letting human beings enjoy this. All right, so Joe's Trail turns into Pump House Trail, and we're going to actually go by some ruins, if you can believe it, of a former pump house. I mean, just get a load of this. Look at these trees. So beautiful. And this right here, this is the old pump house. I have not seen it in this condition and I'm actually a little bit surprised. But yeah, really nice, really cool. This would take water, pump it, obviously. Um, yeah, there's the history of the pump house. I'll try to voice over some other cool stuff about it. Gotta love a trail that has nice little arrows on it. Ooh, look over here. Get some uh, culverts, it looks like to install or have been removed. They look pretty clean. I would bet they're going in somewhere. Probably to deal with this uh, stream that cuts through here. Wow. So many trees, so many leaves falling. I just freaked myself out. I think I heard a person or an animal. Such a cool trail, you know? Getting access to this terrain, getting to enjoy it. Pretty straightforward, you know, nature intended it here. And they just cut a beautiful trail through this, this whole segment. I love seeing these birch trees. Very beautiful. I mean, just look at the ingrowth here of, you know, the bushes and small trees. It's thick, for sure. I assume that used to be a marsh. You know, we're kind of taking the the human trail, right? Like you just walk around the marsh, the edge of it. So I'm sure humans were taking this trail for a long time. I would like to think. And I've gone this way before. I forget where this takes. This is part of Joe's trail. Yeah. And there's another pump house over there. Very cool.
Ah, oh, yes. So there's like a pond back here. We're about to be on it. Really cool. Um, you know, I assume this this pond was influ like instrumental in the water pumps and uh, cranberry bogs, the whole production of that. You can see you got a little stream that cuts through culvert into the pond. Um, but very hidden, you can't see this from the road. stop gonna be going to the beach and doing a beach loop goes down and around um, right near the sandwich boardwalk um, just beautiful you'll see it when we get there but this this is one of my favorite things this is all marshland that we were looking at earlier from Shirley's woods and from the wing fort house this is the marsh the mash and as you can see it's just massive and beautiful again it's in that winter form so not as lush and green as it normally looks uh, but still stunning to come across Peaceful. And if you can see it, not sure if it's picked up on the video here, but there are wind turbines over on the left and a smokestack, I think, uh, for like an oil, for, like energy source. Um, so kind of cool to see that the transition in energy is happening there. If you can make out the small hunch in the middle, the arch structure over there, that is the Sagamore Bridge, I believe. Um, really cool. All right, let's go to the beach. Isn't that nice? Came down here a few times the past few days and the wind was really a force, a gale, as they say. And it was much colder, obviously just kind of unpleasant getting hit with, but today the wind is almost non-existent. I am certainly bundled plenty and it feels great. I can't tell if I should record this as a time lapse. Salt air smells amazing. I do this walk I try to be so thoughtful not inconvenience birds that are you know this is their life and every time I swear they just all get up and fly away regardless so I'm gonna try to go out and around but so cool 
see a bunch of seagulls. And there's quite a bit of bird variety, biodiversity you'll see along this uh, ocean seafront, what is it? Seashore. Um, I've noticed crows, red winged blackbirds. Uh, there are piping plovers, seagulls, obviously. The noise level on a seabird alone, it'll blast your ears. Maybe this is the first time that you haven't all flown away as I go by them. They're getting to know me. I like to think I say what up receptive to that. It's okay guys. I mean just look at the ocean. Absolutely stunning blue, green. So calm today. Very clear day. I can see quite far here. Usually there's a haze of some sort. The sand is really nice for hiking today. Normally I'd be, you know, it's just tough, tough going on sand sometimes. Especially in the summer you sink. You know, an inch every single time you take a step. It's a lot more energy you gotta put out, but right now it's real nice. Nice and compact. Go out and around these guys too. We get a lot of, you know, pigeons. I've seen a handful of red wing blackbirds, crows. But cool to see seagulls so close. Yeah. There's hundreds of them. <laughs>
it through here. Minimal disruptions. I'm grateful they didn't all just get up and start flying at once. But really cool. That spot must just be incredible for fishing for. I mean, there's so many out there. Just amazing. Wow. I mean, there's a whole family way out there. Flock. It's gotta be 40, 50 of them out there. Another 50 on the water here, on the shore. Yeah, just special, really cool. You can see down here, there's actually some rapids forming right around these rocks. Very cool. Edge of the world type vibes. Big fan. You can see we're way past any houses. You can just see white caps out there. Got the dune behind us. Dune, what a great movie.
nice little trail. You can hear the seagulls, also an airplane. It's always nice. This trail is that they, they mark off where humans might want to go. They'd be like, no, do not go over here. Very close. And that's obviously to maintain the dunes and the ecosystem that lives over there. Big fan of that. Need more of it, I would say. Humans seem to find ways around signs sometimes, but I appreciate the care here. Um, it's nice, it's so easy to stay on the trail understand why folks would go off of it, but there's always that, that curiosity factor. So, appreciate the signage. I'm doing my best to stay off of any of the seagrass here. Seagrass is very fragile. Um, there's not enough of it. It can always be more. So we always want to maintain what we already got. Conserve, so to speak. So, if you remember from the beginning of the video, after going to Shirley's Woods, we stopped and looked for the marshland that we could barely see through the forest. This is part of that same marshland. It's extensive. Look on a map, it is huge. And really cool. It almost creates its own little beaches here. We got some turns. Sorry guys. Need the spoke yet? Um, looks like some ice forming, maybe on this little little amount of the marsh water. The tide is obviously out, but you can see a current, and that disappears at parts. And I think that's ice. We will see if this bird will be so kind to land for us. Yeah, he's on ice. Hey, buddy. It was so nice of him to confirm our hypothesis that this was nice. I don't blame him either. Like, why would you go in the water if you could just stand on the side and peck at it? Keep going. Really get a sense of the, the dune over here. It's, it's all so extensive. It's huge. It's still on the, on the water here. to 
the structural integrity of that dude along with the seagrass. So good to see him here still. Just incredible. discreet, fits in. I like it. All right, so this is the end. I appreciate you. Wicked grateful for you. We saw Shirley's Woods. We saw Wing Fort House. We saw Quaker Meeting House. We saw Joe's Woods, Roos Road, Atlantic Ocean Sandwich. Went down the beach. Now we're in the mash. And it's, it's really special. Yeah. <laughs>